Hey everyone, welcome back to another new tutorial here and in today's tutorial we are actually going to talk about a suggestion that one of my fellow subscriber Nehal asked for. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong by the way. So what they basically asked for has to do something with Spotify but I just thought I should make a whole introduction with Spotify and Discord's partnership and you know all those cool features and lastly in the very end of the video we're also going to talk about some things you might go through when you're listening to songs with your friends or within discord it's just going to be a small faq section but before we move on as usual a quick introduction about myself if you don't know what is this channel about then i make videos for discord tips tricks and tutorials so if you want to learn on how to do something within discord or if you want to learn something new like maybe easter egg or discord badges and etc then make sure to subscribe to my channel turn on the bell notification and blah 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 you know all of that stuff so you never miss my upcoming videos and as well make sure to join my discord server which i have made for you guys it's an amazing place to build a friendly community you can meet and talk with a lot of new people make new friends be super active and reach to the highest level to be on top of other members because i don't know that's really cool and yeah so i will link it in the description below and you can just check it out anyways let's go into today's topic so as we all know back then discord is partnered with spotify and they turned it into this cool feature where whenever you or your friend is playing Spotify song, you are actually able to see it within your Discord profile. So you can see the song that is being played, click on someone else's song and listen to it within your own Spotify. And as well, you can even join with your friends and listen to that specific same song at the same time together within your Discord, which we're going to go through into deep details in a bit of moment here. But firstly, you need to connect your Spotify account with your Discord account. And that is really not difficult because I'm going to take you guys with each step here as that that's what my duty is and it's super easy so let's get started. So in order to connect your Spotify account with your Discord account, you firstly need to go to your user settings which is the Glock icon here at the bottom and once you go here you go to your connections tab and then you click on it and then obviously you have to find that very popular logo which is the Spotify. Now once you click on the Spotify logo you will be transferred to a new browser page where Spotify will be asking your permission to connect your account with Discord. And then whatever this is I'm not going to go through it. If you want to read it you can read it later but just click OK by the end and once you click OK it will show you that you have connected your Spotify account with Discord. Now once you're done with all of that process you can go back to your connections tab again and you're going to see two specific options here. The first one is display on profile and then the second one is display Spotify as your status. Both are different things. Obviously you can toggle between them enabling and disabling them. The first one shows your Spotify account on your Discord profile and people can click on it and go to your account and maybe check your playlist or whatever you've made public there. The second one down here is if you enable it people are actually going to be able to see what song you're listening to within Discord and whenever you change your song it's going to change within Discord as well. And cool thing is that it will also show the song's progress on how many minutes are left for the song to end. It's just going to show everything live so if you just enable this basically anyone can literally see anything. Now there is also this another feature within Discord which is called Spotify Auto Pause. And what this feature is basically all about is that when you're talking within a voice chat through your mic for 30 seconds and Spotify is being played on behind, then Spotify will actually stop playing and you will most likely get a red error bar at the top of your Discord application saying, your mic has been transmitted for 30 seconds, Spotify playback paused. Now, this also may occur other than voice chatting, so it may occur when you're screen sharing and as well when you go live within your application. Now, personally, it's not really working for me. I don't know what's the issue. 
And I do prefer it never work for me because it's kind of cool, you know, you're talking to people and music is being played behind. I would prefer that. However, many people have asked it's working for them. So if it's not working for you and you want it to work for you, then you can just hop into my Discord server and ask me and I will let you know if I have figured out a solution by that time. But just to conclude this, because Spotify is intended for personal and private use, the auto pause function allows Discord to stay in compliance with Spotify's terms and conditions on their website. You can just check them out, I'm going to link it in the description below. Or actually, maybe not. I mean, who's going to read, you know, privacy and policy and terms and condition? Who who, who is that in 2021? You should do it though, don't be a bad boy. Anyways, to avoid this, however, you can do two things. One is that you can adjust your voice activity, sensitivity, or another way is you can use push to talk, and this might let your mic not get activated while you're listening. And now we can finally talk about on how you can invite your friends and listen songs with them together. Now this is actually a really cool feature which you can do within Discord, but the only downside is that in order to invite your friends to listen to Spotify with you, they need to have a Spotify premium, otherwise they will be receiving an error. Same goes with you if you want to join your friends, listen songs with them, then you know, whatever they're listening or playing, you need to have a Spotify premium as well. But either way, I'm just going to share in case how you can do that because you're currently in class and you need to learn something new. So the way how you can invite your friends to listen to songs with you or anyone else is when your Spotify is playing on back, you can go to your plus icon here in the chat box here below. And once you click here, you'll get a Spotify option which you can and choose and click on it and then you'll get a message preview which is going to show you the invite of how it's going to look when you send the message in the chat and it's also going to give you a comment option if you want to add you can add it if you don't want to add you can just skip it and then you send the invite now after sending the invite your friend will be able to click join and listen to your songs if they're having the premium spotify account as i have said earlier and this is a very cool and awesome feature. You know what I mean? Like if you change your song, they're able to see the songs being changed or paused within that specific invite link. They can see and listen to that live changes happening. So it's a really cool feature. You should definitely check it out if you are one of those people who are able to listen together. And lastly, now it's time for a few Q&As for Spotify and Discord account. Those are some of the issues that you may run into or your friends may face, so just keep those in mind in case. Starting with the first one is that if you're having crossfading enabled, it's going to cause an abrupt stop during song changes for listeners who are listening with you. If you are listening with your friends through your mobile device, then you need to know that your mobile cannot go to sleep or end the song, otherwise the app will lose the connection with Spotify and listen along session will also end. If you click on play or listen and it doesn't really work, then maybe try playing a song on your Spotify first or go to Spotify and try to change the device so your Discord can actually know on what device your Spotify is being played on. A simple and common thing is if you're playing a game that is shown on your status, then games are always shown on status first and your Spotify will not be shown instead. However, you can go to your profile and then click on activity and you can see your Spotify is still showing the song you are listening to. And lastly, if you're having any delay issues with listening to song, then that is probably due to system time being not in sync with the real time. Now this can either be on the listener's end or the user that is being listened to, so you may want to figure this out yourself. And that was all for today, thank you everyone for watching, I hope this video was helpful. Again, thanks to one of our subscribers, Nehal, 
whom I was able to listen to their suggestion because that's the benefit that you get if you're subscribed to my channel, wink wink. And this topic was on my upcoming list anyway, so that was kind of lucky for them. But hey, if you have any further suggestions that you want me to make a video on, then you may want to subscribe below and click on that fat big thumb and also make sure to join my discord server where you can also share your suggestions you want me to make a video on and yeah this is where i'm going to end my video now so bye bye